Hey, let's go. I apologize because I am eating a sweet at the moment. So it's probably going to sound a bit weird. But the sweet will be gone soon. Do not worry. The sweet will not last long. I'm going to try to talk a bit louder because some of the feedback I had from the last video was that um, it was a bit hard to hear me. So is this better? Hopefully, hopefully you can hear me. The microphone's a bit closer to my face. Oh, no, no, it's not. Shit. Oh, shit, they've just resurfaced this. Oh, okay, first of all, we're going to talk about how shit of a method of resurfacing a road this is. I don't know if they do this in other parts of the country. I'm assuming they do. But around here, the way they resurface roads seems to be take all the tarmac off, put down some glue or whatever, put down something sticky, and then just lob shitloads of stones on it and hope that some of them stick. Most of them won't. Most of them will end up flying into the side of the road and into other people's cars when you drive past. But hey, who gives a fuck? It's so... Oh, it's so bad. Honestly. It's just, it's just like driving through a gravel trap, basically, and just hoping that most of the stones don't hit your car when other people drive past the other way. And after about two or three months or something, most of the stones are sort of stuck down because they've been, you know, pressed into the, the ground by the cars that have driven over the road over and over again. But for the month or so that it takes for that to happen, it's fucking terrible. Especially on a motorbike, because obviously you've got less grip on a motorbike because you've only got two wheels. Um, so it's terrible riding through it on a motorbike because it's just gravel, basically, but on, on the roads. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty awful. I don't know why they do it. I don't, oh, they've done this bit as well. Fuck's sake. You have to go about 20 miles an hour just to make sure you stay on the road. Oh, it's fucking garbage. I need to stop swearing so much. Um, so, while well, we're going along at about 10 miles an hour, let's talk about the track day. Um, it was at Blighton Park. I posted a video, well, we posted a video of it uh, yesterday, I think it was. So, most of you have probably seen that on the Dedication, uh, dedication? dedication Blog channel. Um, if you're not already aware of that channel, go and, go and check it out. That's one that me and a friend were on. Um, all sorts of stuff about this car and business and all sorts of things. Um, but yeah, we posted a video on there yesterday, so you've probably seen that. Um, and you probably saw at the end of it how bad the tyres were. We've got a cyclist. Go around the cyclist. We're still in the gravel trap. Um, yeah, the tyres were absolutely knackered. The day, like the, the actual track driving itself was really fun. Um, I really enjoyed it and I'd love to do another one, but like four new tires for this car is about 900 quid and you pretty much get through a set of tires in one day at the track at least at that track and the way i was driving i got through a set of tires i'm not saying that's the case for every single person and every single track and every car and whatever before anyone argues with me um, but for me it pretty much destroyed my tires so you know like the track day itself cost like 140 quid i spent 150 quid on fuel just at the track um, and then if you think 900 quid for tyres, that is a very expensive day just to go and drive your car around a small track. So I don't know if I'm going to do any more. I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Some of my friends want to do one next month, so I'll probably end up doing it in this or something, I don't know. Because I said I wasn't going to track this car at all, and then did it anyway, so... I'll probably end up doing that as well. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, the, the day overall was, was really good. Um, I certainly got a better understanding of how the car handles and everything, especially with a fucking gravel trap this bit as well. Right, we're going a different way. Sorry. Um, yeah, I got a better understanding of the way the car handles and everything, especially with um, the ESP on Sport, which I've not really driven that much with it on Sport, like just around the roads. Uh, so that, that was good. But yeah, it was, it was good fun. There, were, there weren't many other cars there that could kind of keep up with this on the straights or whatever. And I'm well aware that's just the car doing all the work and not me. Um, so I'm not trying to say I was the best person there or anything like that. But there weren't many other cars that, you know, didn't just move straight out of the way. Um, so I didn't get to sort of race anyone. I know you're not supposed to race people on the track there anyway, but everyone does. Um, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't really get to race anyone. There was a GTR there, but I wasn't on track at the same time as him for some reason. Um, and then he left after lunch, I think, so didn't get to sort of follow him around or anything. There was a couple of, like, caterum... There might not have been caterums, I'm terrible with 
track cars and things like that. Um, I think they were Caterhams. They, there was a couple of them there that were pretty rapid. Um, one of them did keep up with this um, pretty much all the way around. So, yeah, he obviously knew what he was doing, whereas I do not. It was, the weather was a bit on and off. Like, it would rain and then it would dry up and then it would rain and then it would dry up and then it would rain. So, it wasn't ideal, but we did get quite a bit of dry track time in the end, so it wasn't too bad. Um, where the hell are we? Oh, I think I know where we are. Oh yeah, I do know where we are. And this is a sketchy junction to get out of. This place that we're driving through is called Swallow. It's... I'm just saying, the place is called Swallow. Make your own jokes. It's terrible. Worst comedian ever. Oh, I think I just killed Blackbird. Oh, I did. I hope I didn't. I think I just clipped him. Or his feathered. Uh, I might have to stop and check and see if there's a blackbird stuck to the front of my car. They normally, birds normally just fly right across in front of you and like, they just get out of the way at the last second, don't they? This one, not so much. Just flew right across in front of me and I think I went over him. But I don't think either of the wheels hit him. Um, let's find somewhere to stop. <laughs> I, like, I really like animals and stuff, so I'm not one of these people who just don't care if you kill something. Um, let's just pull over here and see if there is any blackbird stuck to my car. Please don't be. Please don't be. Be back in a second. Nope. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Talk amongst yourselves. I think we're okay. Don't think we killed him. Yep, no dead blackbird. So, we're all good. Ah, come on seatbelt. Why well, you always got to play up when I'm filming? What? 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 What have you even... There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I can't even put a fucking seatbelt on. Jesus Christ. Every time I film anything, I end up looking like a complete noob at driving. Like, filmed a little drift around a roundabout earlier, crashed into the roundabout. Filmed myself, I can't remember what I was doing, I was doing a vlog, I think, and I went to get petrol or something, couldn't get the petrol cap open for ages. Every time I film anything, I just look like an idiot. Filmed something the other day when I went to overtake someone, grinded one of the gears as I put it in. Grinded? Is that a word? Yeah, grinded. Yeah. Ground. I fucked it up, basically. Oh, there's a rabbit! Trying to kill a rabbit, trying to kill a rabbit. Didn't kill a rabbit. It's one animal that we've not hit today. Well, I don't think I hit the other one, but I can't quite see how he escaped. Escape? That makes it sound like I was trying to hit him. I wasn't trying to hit him. I'm so childish. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can say about the track day. I feel like I've not really said much about it. Um, it was good. I made a few friends there. The R8 obviously gets quite a bit of attention when you go to stuff like that. Um, there was a guy who asked for a, a drive round in it. Obviously, not him driving. Him sat in the passenger seat. Um, and then one of his friends, oh Jesus, that's a big traffic jam. Um, then one of his friend's daughters, I think, she had a go around as well. And somebody else, I think. Uh, two or three of my friends as well came around in the passenger seat. So it's, um, it's nice that people want to go in it, but I always feel like they're going to be a bit disappointed with my driving. Because I'm not a racing driver or anything, but I don't know. It's good fun. Can we overtake someone here? We could overtake a few people. Well, we could probably overtake all of them, to be fair. Yeah, let's just do all of them. That is the nice thing about this car. You can overtake people so easily. Like, we just overtook four cars in a row there, which, in my other car, I wouldn't dream of doing. I've got four new tyres coming, I think, tomorrow, or the day after. So they're getting fitted on Thursday, I think. So, not too long. They're different tyres. Um, the Michelin Pilot Super Sports, whereas the ones that are on it at the moment are Pirelli P0s. Um, a lot of people on the R8 forums said that the Michelins are a lot better, so give them a try and see if I notice any difference. I don't know exactly what is supposed to be better about them. I'll, um, I'll post like a, not a review, but I'll just post my thoughts on, you know, if I notice any difference or if they're any better or worse or whatever. So. It looks a bit brighter this way, so we'll go this way. Uh, I do love this car. Oh, the fucking gravel despot as well. 
Oh my god. The worst thing about these gravelly roads is that people who are in just like, you know, your average car, they're not too bothered if they get a little stone chip. They'll just storm it down these roads with, that are full of gravel at like 60 mile an hour. And then, obviously, if they're coming the other way, you just get all the gravel flying onto your car at 60 mile an hour. I'm going to turn off here as well. Um, and, you know, stone chipping the hell out of your car. So, it's not much fun. What was I going to say? I have no idea what I was going to say. I've, um, I've distracted myself by going fast. Again.